What's up Tech Geniuses, Savari Tech here once again and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation Pro 16. Um, before I even get deep in the video, I want to get, let you guys know that uh, version 17 is out, Workstation 17 Pro is out, so um, it's better to go ahead and get that because you won't have to do all the tricks that I'm about to do in uh, Workstation 16 to get that working but uh, if you can get access to uh, Workstation 17 Pro before you leave the video don't forget to leave me a like to support the channel and without any further ado let's get to it so you're gonna go ahead and open your VMware Workstation 16 alright so once you have your VMware uh, opened um, you're gonna go to go to through the normal process go to file new virtual machine if you're new to this just follow me and should be alright select your installer disk file I have mine in my music folder I know it's an odd location but just don't don't say anything alright <laughs> hit next select Microsoft Windows here Windows 10 and later x64 alright although it's Windows 11 but just follow through and here I am going to um, rename it to something that is um, memorable Windows 11 um, and also I'll change the location of it um, because I don't have enough space on my C drive hit next here and I'll do single file here next again you can choose anything back there but here you have to give it at least four gigs of ram otherwise i don't think it'll work which is 40 60 megabyte 4096 megabytes that's what you'll need um and then you can close you finish here and there are two things i need you to do okay with your windows 11 selected go to vm settings actually it's three highlight um, so you're gonna go here and you're gonna go to access control encrypt and you're gonna set a password that you'll need to remember okay because every time you open the VM it'll ask you for this password this specific VM the 11 one and go to hardware do add add a trusted platform module and go back to options go to advanced and click enable secure boot that's the third thing and click OK and power on your virtual machine be ready to pr press the space bar or any key click inside it right and really quick I'm gonna click press any button and then it'll boot if you don't press a button then it'll just um, go to another screen if it does press control alt to release your mouse go to VM power and then restart it I'll sort of fast forward through this process because it's familiar to a lot of people and very intuitive if you're not familiar with it you can just watch what I do and it should be alright. Alright, here custom install. Okay, next. At this point, most people will close the video by now because this is pretty much a given. You just have to wait um, and watch it install itself. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, but if you're new to this, you can stick around for the rest. From that point, all of these are basically your personal choices, email, 
pin, passwords, and other configurations. And once I get it open, I will um, personalize it to fit the window of VMware, which I will right click, go to display settings, and scroll down. I'll choose 1920 by 1080 and apply, keep the changes. If I go into full screen here, you'll see um, it's like a normal computer. So yeah, that's it. Um, go ahead and give me a subscribe and a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll keep on going with the new ones.